The next ones, we're using the rule when we raise to a power. When I have b to the second power and I cube it, my rule when I raise to a power is to do what with my exponents? Wait, what was the question? If I raise it to another power, what do I do with my exponents? Um, you add them? Nope. Multiply them. Multiply them. When I'm multiplying, I add the exponents. When I raise to a power, I multiply this. So this would be b to the sixth power. b squared times b squared times b squared is b to the sixth. Same rule applies. We just have fractions here. So I'm going to take b to the negative fifth and raise it to the one-fifth power, and a to the five-fourths and raise it to the one-fifth power. So I'm going to multiply my exponents. When I take negative 5 times positive 1 fifth, what would I get? This is negative 5 over 1 times 1 over 5. What happens? It's going to be negative 1 because the 5's would cancel out, right? So I could be to the negative 1. Or I could have multiplied and got negative 5 over 5 and reduced it down and still got negative 1, right? How about if I have a to the 5 fourths raised to the 1 fifth power? What am I going to get there? 1 fourth. a to the 1 fourth power. Because again, on this one, the 5's cancel out. We need to fix that one because we do have that negative exponent and we like to write it with only positive exponents. So how can I rewrite that answer? A to the one-fourth over b to the first. A to the one-fourth over b, and I don't really need to the first power, so just over b. So anything with a negative exponent, we move to the bottom to make the exponent positive. So number five, same kind of thing. I'm going to raise to the third power. So I'm going to take b to the two-fifths and raise it to the third power. And then c to the negative one-fifth and raise that to the third power. So if I take two-fifths times three, I would get... b and six-fifths. b to the... six-fifths. Six Oh, it's Keep in mind that the 3 is over 1, right? Oh, okay. So it would be 6 over 5. And then I would get C to the? 3 fifths. And my sign is negative, right? Since that was C to the negative 1 fifth. So C to the negative 3 fifths. And again, we have one that has a negative exponent, so we've got to rewrite our answer. B to the 6 fifths over c to the three-fifths. So number six, again we're raising to a power, so we're going to multiply our exponents. We've got c to the one-fourth, and we're going to raise that to the negative two-fifths. And then we've got a to the fifth, and we're going to raise that to the negative two-fifths. So, one-fourth times negative two-fifths. Negative, negative one over ten. Negative one-tenth. It would be negative two-twentieths, which reduces down to one-tenth. Or you could cancel the two and the four and reduce it first. And then we're going to have a to the... Negative second. Negative two. This again would be 5 over 1. The 5's would cancel out, so we just get a to the negative 2. Both of these have negative exponents, so how am I going to write my answer? 1 over a to the And if you put the c first, it's okay. Since we have our commutative property, whatever order you put them in, but they like them alphabetically, so that looks prettier. <laughs> So 1 over a squared times c to the 1 tenth.
All right.